Welcome to Yadna Investment Academy. Today we are going to talk about the various type of returns you see in mutual fund fact sheets, on their websites, on other investment websites, etc. Well, yes, the data availability is made for one to take a very informed decision. But this data for a layman, when given in one single shot, seems to overpower his ability to absorb the meaning. Believe it or not, things are actually very simple. The need is to reach out to understand the meaning. So let's reach out through this video. Let us assume you invested a thousand rupees into mutual funds. The value of your investment after two years became one thousand one hundred and fifty rupees. So the returns are either one fifty rupees or in terms of percentage, the returns are fifteen percent. Let's assume after three years, the value still remained one thousand one fifty. So the returns are still rupees one fifty or fifteen percent. So such returns which do not consider the time frame involved but are calculated between any two given points in time are termed as absolute returns. Now you have done such an investment that is a mutual fund investment for the first time, and you want to compare its returns with that of an FD, which your friend says is a better investment. But FD is offering an interest rate of around seven percent per annum. So how do you compare returns of rupees one fifty or fifteen percent earned over two years with returns of seven percent per annum? You can't just divide fifteen by two, as the returns earned in the first year of your mutual funds would also earn returns in its second year. That is, the returns would compound. So the need is to bring both the investments at par and then compare them. And so there's a need to annualize the returns. That is, you should know how much returns your mutual fund is earning on a yearly basis. Annualized returns are also known as compounded annualized returns or compound annual growth rate. Annualized returns, popularly known as compounded annual growth rate, that is CAGR, is calculated. as value of your investment at the end of your investment tenure divided by the value at the beginning that is your investment amount all of this raised to 1 divided by number of years of your investment and all of this value minus 1 and when you convert it to percentage multiplied by 100 so if we have to calculate cagr using this formula for the mutual fund investment which earned 150 rupees over 2 years we will get a value of 7.24% now the calculation has been shown only for understanding purpose there are online cagr calculators which can be used to calculate annualized returns now since mutual fund investments are market linked this value of 7.24% does not mean that it actually grew by 7.24% each year This value is a mean or average annual growth rate. It does not indicate that whether any of the two years of investment were bearish or bullish or the growth was steady. But now that you know your mutual fund investment has earned a return of seven point two four percent per annum, you can compare it with that of an FD and say that your mutual fund was a better investment. So based upon this decision, you decide to continue with your mutual fund investment. So how do you track performance of your mutual fund? There are two type of returns which will help you do that: trailing returns and calendar returns. Trailing returns are analyzed returns that look backward for a specified duration. This duration as seen on various websites is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 10 years. And this backward point from which trailing returns are calculated is the latest NAV available. NAVs are declared at 9 p.m. on every working day. On various investment websites and fund fact sheets, you could also see trailing returns calculated for one week and one, three, and six months as well. Trailing returns can be used to know how a fund has performed in the recent past. But if a fund has performed exceptionally well in the last one year, it could easily lift returns of. Three, five, seven, and ten trailing years. Since you cannot make out which of the year in the past has really done well, there is need to look at the calendar returns as well. 
Now calendar returns are nothing but absolute returns from 1st of January to 31st of December each calendar year. Now what you see in front of you are calendar returns and trailing returns of HDFC Midcap Opportunities Fund. Calendar returns would tell you how the fund has performed in the market rises and market falls. 2008, 2011 and 2013 were bad years for the market. In these years, the fund was able to contain its losses better than the index it follows. This fund follows Nifty Free Float Midcap 100 as its index. In 2013, the fund was even able to deliver positive returns of around 10%. But don't forget to compare the returns of the fund with that of the index to see how the fund contained losses when the markets fell and what were the amount of good returns the fund was able to produce in the market rallies. And trailing returns of a fund as we said can be used to evaluate the performance of a fund in the recent past. If we look at the calendar returns of HDFC Medcap Opportunities Fund in 2016, the returns are around 11%. But if we look at the trailing returns of last one year, that is one year backwards from 16th of April 2017, the trailing returns are around 36%. So what this indicates is after the end of 2016 till 16th of April 2017, the fund has delivered good returns. So friends, in this video, we spoke about absolute returns, which are nothing but returns generated by an investment between any two given points in time. CAGR which can help us compare returns between two investments, calendar and trailing returns which can help us analyze performance of a fund. Hope you know the meaning of these terms the next time you come across them. Thanks for watching this video. Watch this space for more such topics. Until then happy investing. If you have any questions let us know in the comment section below our videos and if you like our videos please do subscribe. Thank you.